But first, for the last 40 years, a family business has been committed to preserving Chicago's art scene, whether it be through engraving pieces or framing them. Now they've taken a turn in how they're enhancing artwork through a custom framing process. Arts correspondent Angel Ito takes us to Frame Chicago and shows us how they're pushing the envelope in how collectors preserve their art. When the Rajani family emigrated from East Africa as refugees in 1972, they initially started a business that enhanced their skill sets. We worked really hard to get where we are, you know. We came with nothing. And then as a chemist, I formulated inks and coatings and colors, so the color was very passionate to me, developing the colors and formulating the inks. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty natural for me to work with the colors. They started out engraving before moving on to framing pieces. Now, 40 years later, son and daughter Shafiq and Alicia are helping expand the family business even further. When you're really passionate about something, it just comes naturally, you know. Um, when I see this art, I feel so happy and so excited to work with it that the design just comes to me naturally. It doesn't feel like work. This frame is a little bit small. The engraving business then led uh, to the custom framing business in the early 90s. In the late 90s, early 2000s, that we moved our operations to Lincoln Park, and that's where we found a new community of art collectors. The frame preserves your piece, the frame ensures that no light hits your piece, and it retains the value, right? Um, so there's always been an importance to framing. What makes Frame Chicago style so special? It's the walls they build within their frames to enhance the artist's creations. Every time a new piece comes in, we're looking to see what can we do different than we did last time, how can we enhance the piece? That's where spray paint comes in, color frames come in, painting the frame, painting the mat, uh, floating in different directions, putting double or triple frames. In-house, Frame Chicago has a small team of both artists and framers that help bring these ideas to life in a quick turnaround. We've got our frame built and we've got our art. Some might argue the work the Rajani family does oversteps the artist's initial creation. But one artist that frequently works with them says while their style might not be for everyone, it is for him. People don't understand the importance of art in framing. There's a matrimony between the art and what it's encased in. And a lot of people, I think, undervalue and try to go with something cheap for their frame. Taking it a step further and understanding framing as art and seeing some of those framers that take push that envelope or the boundary and explore and experiment is exactly what artists do. So there's an artistry to it. So I love it. I don't think I love every single framing that's done by anybody but I'm always blown away by those that push the boundary. As Frame Chicago evolves into a brand that also showcases local artists such as B. Moore, J.C. Rivera, and Kayla Sansing, to name a few, the core of their business will always be rooted in the art of framing. When you put it on your wall, it's the piece and it's the frame that essentially enhance it uh, to really bring it out. Um, so we're creating a collector's item on top of a collector's item. What Frame Chicago has done is essentially said, we're gonna make that frame a one of one. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. And whether you're a longtime collector or a first timer, Frame Chicago says they're committed to making art more accessible for everyone. Visit our website for more information on their custom framing process.